everybody on YouTube today. I uh gonna mess around with my 86 C10. Try to get it going. I uh got me a selfie stick because the daughter was complaining that I didn't have the right uh angle on the camera. But uh maybe this will be a little bit better. Hey and my neighbor my neighbor's dog comes to see us every now and then. His little pug. Say see? <laughs> Uh, whoop. This is the 86. This is the 305 with some work done on it. Freshen up the battery. It's been probably six months since I've started this thing, so let's see if uh, it'll start. It's gonna be a little, a little tough. We've had some other issues with the cars and stuff, and we're kind of in need of an extra one, so I guess I'll get this thing started, hopefully. And, uh, see if we can, uh, make this thing run today. Alright, come on. About to always squeak like crazy, this thing. How much pine straw I've got built up? Yeah. <laughs> Starting to be easier than I thought it would. Oh, sorry. Got to get used to using this little stick here. Move it around, save you till uh, we can put some uh, fluids in it. Air up the tires and see if I can uh, make it usable. Yeah, she got power windows, power door locks, came original cruise control, but I have to put an aftermarket carburetor and stuff on it. She don't. Yeah, cruise control doesn't work anymore. I think there was something wrong with it anyway. I can make it work. So don't drive it very much. But we're gonna let it sit here and run for a bit and uh, check everything on it. Well, like I said, it has been a while since I have run it. I think power windows work. Power door locks work. AC don't work though. <laughs> Even though it still has a pump on it, but the uh, condenser is bad. It uh, has a hole in it, I believe, is what I figured out. But now uh, maybe you can see a little better. It's an old rock intake, uh, old rock carburetor. Put some uh, headers on it. We gotta put air and stuff in the tires and make sure that uh, I don't have a flat on it again because uh, I've got a spare that's probably almost as old as the truck is. I know the spare is older than my kids. Well, maybe older than my son, but old, old, older than my youngest child anyway. And if I never get it straightened out and cleaned up good enough where he can drive every day, it's gonna be going to my son, which, hey son, maybe you'll watch this one, which it is yours. I've gotta use it. <coughs> oh, let's see. Oh yeah, by the way, the one video I said that engine would be gone pretty quick. It is still sitting here. I haven't had time nor the motivation to uh, get rid of it. Uh, so, but. I think we all all deal with that. And here, here, here's my mouse catcher here. Come here, Callie. Callie. Come here, girl. Come here, Callie. This is Callie. She catches my mouses in my shop. She comes in and hangs out with me when I'm welding and stuff and everything else. You gonna say hey? Hmm? But, yep. I'm trying to get a better angle, Katie. Everybody else, too. Here, here, there's my other beast. There's our, that's Lily. And then 
that's Cooper. <laughs> they're, 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 uh, they're so ferocious. Alright, I'm gonna put y'all down. It's about the best angle I can get on this right this second. So, uh, bear with me. Uh, check transmission fluid. Even though the transmission fluid is nice and cold. Woo! That's the transmission fluid in it. He's a low. Had a little lifter tick in it. Most, most of you probably can, can hear it. I just hope I got some transmission fluid for it. But uh, I want to start driving it some more. Like I said, my oldest daughter, her stepdaughter, love them like they're mine. Ugh. Uh, had a accident a few weeks ago and uh, got a uh, rear-ended by a gentleman. Thank God the only person that, well, thank God that everybody was okay other than the driver. I mean, I hated that he, uh, he got hurt, got caused an accident. He reached down for something or wasn't paying attention. We don't, that's all we know. He just but paying attention to reach for a bottle, I think is what the police report said, but, you know, it happens just that quick, you know, especially on the road that she was on, traffic in the evenings is horrible, and it's, a, and it, it's bad, but uh, he, he's all right as far as we know. He had to go make a trip to the hospital and out, but unfortunately, as of right now, it leaves us with leaves us a vehicle short and uh, you know, that's nothing nothing fun to deal with right now my, my stepdaughter she's uh she's uh, having to wait hopefully that the insurance will pay something out and maybe she can work out a deal with her her dad her biological dad he's an awesome guy you know he Good guy, helped me out a few times. Helped me and the wife out a few times when we uh, first got married. You know, it's just not often that uh, you can uh, count on somebody's exes to help you out. <laughs> so, but, uh, good guy. Oop, there I'm going with a bad camera an camera angle again. So, but uh, yeah, folks, let me put you down again. Go listen to the truck run for a minute. Uh, the, the, my black outline and the, the blue sky. Let's yeah, see if we've got that made a difference or not. Dogs over there fighting. Cooper is five and uh, Lily is just, just turned one. Big difference in the size of them. Oh, yeah, that's a little closer. We don't take what we got left there to get it all in, get her up where she needs to be. Got to add a little bit laying around.
everybody a FYI, most people probably do not know this, is when these bottles, oil, transmission, fluid, don't matter which way, it, what it is, but the way this bottle is designed, it's not designed to pour like this. You want to take and open it and pour from this direction here. This is the cleaner, smoother flow out of the bottle. If you don't believe me, just try it. It is what it is. Here I am with a back camera angle again. Sorry, Katie. Uh, all my 900 tons of crap I've got laying around. Uh, I actually got around, oh, excuse me, got around and cleaned a bunch of it up. And, uh, but, uh, I'll give you a walk around on the little C10. I've got to do some work on it. I want to get the new front spoiler for it. Clean it up. I need to work on the roof line here. Straighten it up. Uh, I've got some different wheels for it. I'm going to put steel wheels back on for my son. I think we'll like those better in the long run. Of course, I've been saving up my pine straw for everybody, so if you need pine straw, come over to the house and break it up. It's all yours for free. But, uh, can't remember if I ever bolted this to the tool bed back then. Oh, nope, didn't do it. Need to bolt that back down. This truck's pretty much original as you see. Changed out the power door, uh, power windows on them, motors. And there's bits and pieces of rust here. It's probably, it's probably the worst damage on the whole truck. Other than the 305. I wish it had been a 350. It would have had the money to stab a LS in it. We'd have some whole lots of stuff to film on, on that then. But, uh, beyond that, there's a few things I probably need to tighten up and take care of. You know, it's hard to know my pump is still good. It's just the uh, condenser core here has uh, got a hole in it. So I probably could just change that out. And uh, I actually have AC on this truck. I do a uh, re engineer some stuff on the blower motor here because the guy that had it for us or somebody along his when he had it broke the air box I uh, fixed it best I could engineered it JB welded it uh, it worked uh, like I said everything pretty much works on it put a little uh, cheap radio in it awesome Little dual radio works real good. Got Bluetooth and all that stuff on it. Worked pretty dang good. I was real surprised out of the. Just want you a little cheap radio for a work truck or something. Walmart dual radios, nineteen dollars and some change. Uh, Den kit and the wiring harness if you need it. But uh, got a borrowed the battery out of my daughter's wreck car for the truck. Just get this running so it has some help to run to drive. Trying to make sure that it just. Had plenty of coolant and everything in it. It was a little low. I'll probably let it run a while. I filled it up with it cold. But I hate pine straw. I really, really do. Wish I knew somebody that loved cutting trees down and they would cut it for the lumber. I'd let them have all these trees. I am a working man. I can't afford to pay a thousand eight hundred dollars or whatever it is some people charge per tree. I might run up to the store and get some of my wiper blades. Let's hope I can hope I can get the wipers to work. Yeah, I have stuff piled everywhere. I have the Volkswagen hood out here, the lawnmower, a bunch of other stuff. The tires for the Volkswagen. And bad habit I have is piling stuff up out here in the yard and all my other junk over here. But the way I look at it, it's just not all over my yard. I'll do what I can. I'm somewhat of a procrastinator. My wife and children will contest to that. My mom, too. Ooh, yeah, I should have gone to get some wiper blades. I need a shot. But I'm going to uh, stop the video here. 
about 15 minutes or so. But I'm uh, got the air in the tires. I don't want to bore you with that. Uh, I'm just hoping these tires will last a minute or two because they're pretty shoddy. <laughs> yeah. And here, here comes the wife out to check on me and say, wait, hey. hey. <laughs> Uh, Y'all have a good day. God bless. Amen. And roll tide.